Alright, rah, 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 everybody. It's time for the last week of Backyard Baseball before we go to the playoffs. We just have two games left. Our first game is our rematch against the dreaded Red Bombers, who are the second best team in the division after ours, Artie's All-Stars. And then the one that we'll do on Wednesday will be our rematch against the Sox, which was a pretty legendary game. Anyhow, I'm not scared. It's, I know we won last time against the Bombers literally by the skin of our teeth. We won 1-0, and we didn't get that last point until, like, the last possible second. But that's okay, because we are better now. The Bombers were the second team that we faced last time, and thus, we're better now than we were back then. We have a much better batting order, and we're better at the game. We are better at batting now, so... Hopefully things should go pretty smoothly. I like my general setup that I have now. We're not going to make any changes. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, let's get started on today's game against the Bombers. Let's get the party started. It's time to get down with your favorite baseball players. Reporting to you live from the Parks Department Field Number 2, this is Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch. Today's matchup is between the Red Bombers and the Junior All-Stars. This season has been solid for these kids. They've been playing some serious baseball out there, and they have a lot to be proud of. Not to mention, it's looking good for the playoffs. And now it's time for the action to begin. Don't hold back, fans. Show the All-Stars how much you want them to win. <laughs> it's looking good for the playoffs, Vinny? Yeah, we're guaranteed to come to the playoffs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi Prince Dusk. I th I think you uh I think you spelled that uh I think you spelled that word wrong. I think you meant to say hi. <laughs> That's okay. Glad you're here. We are just in time for us to face off against the Red Bombers. Hey, no worry. <laughs> no worries. Hey Mello, welcome back. Glad to see you're both still here. Let's um <clears throat> I said let's play the ball game. Today is Man, we are always pitching first. Or catches fire. Not that I'm really Mad complaining. We can, can finish the game the faster that way. Just don't ask her to throw a slow ball. Watch me now. Hey. All right, Lisa, you have been, you have been one of our all-stars of the all-stars for the longest time ever since we started. You've been amazing. Let's see if we can keep that up. What? Are people mowing the lawn at this hour? There's either, like, a truck driving by, a plane flying right overhead, or someone's mowing the lawn at 8 p.m. when it's pitch black out. I don't know, but we, that shouldn't stop us from being able to play baseball. It's probably not even getting picked up on the mic anyways. <laughs> Prince Dusk, you're playing Among Us at the same time you're listening to the stream? That's insane. <laughs> you are far better at the game than I am. Another strike. Yeah, I know. You play every team twice, I know. When Once you start uh, pitching and once you start b as batting. I feel like I've started as pitching far more often than I've started as batting, though. Maybe that's just confirmation bias, though. Swung on. A blooper in foul right. territory. Cindy, and the count is Cindy, you're not getting on base. Like, that's just... That's not going to happen. A bouncing ball. Let's go, Blue. She she's a speedy little girl, but she's no match for Dimitri and Lisa. Liz Canehorn, that's a cool name. She's the king of all the horns. Let's throw up the heat. Another strike. <laughs> I meant throw out, not throw up. There's no barfing allowed in this stream. Oh, that's a lucky uh, batting average. Oh, okay, nice pop fly. Oh my gosh, Pablo's like, it is me! I have got this! Man, Pablo is really fast today. This is good. The schedule tells you which, if it's a, if it's a home-based team or an away-based team, based on the shade of blue on the day it's played? Wait, really? Hang on, I gotta see that. Oh, I, I never noticed that before. I never noticed that before. Thanks for pointing that out. Also, one thing that's disappointing is that 
when you do season play, you only play on one course. I like all the different courses in this, with the exception of Tin Can Alley. Nice job, Kenny. Good team. <laughs> Kenny, Lisa, and Dimitri are the triangle of terror uh, for the opposing team. They get everyone out. And occasionally, like, Pete or Jocinda has to step now in. Now pitching Todd Xavier when he's not striking Todd out Todd Xavier? Batty. I feel he's like he's on every team. To hula hoop like, a champ. His record is like I, minutes, well, I'm guessing that, like, every team has a kid who looks just like him. But I swear Todd Xavier is a name that I've seen on almost every team. Okay, Pete. Uh, what am I supposed to do again? Wait, whoops. Not a bunt. Grounder works better for Pete Wheeler. The stretch. Here's the pitch. A swing. A okay, nice ball. bounce. Yeah. Oh, they're stupid. Nice job, Pete. Good job, Pete. The streak continues. Oh, it's only in the later games that you get to pick your home field and play. Okay. That's a nice feature. Maybe I should look into getting one of the later games. Like, 2001, I think, would be the one I would invest in. Because that has, like, the custom players, and the pro players, and, like, the home away team. But it's still... Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. Darn it. Sometimes that happens. Exactly, Vinny. All you can do is try your hardest. Well, no use crying over spilled milk. That's bound to happen occasionally. And we got Pablo Sanchez up next. They best be afraid. I think I need to start hitting line drive with Ready Kenny from now on. And delivered. Swung on, strike one. I feel like Two Kenny out. tends to do a little better with line drive, at least when it comes to getting both him and Pete on base. Into the motion and delivered. Strike that was a strike, Any time you get that second strike on you, it gets pretty tough to fight back. And the count is Owen. Yeah, because I watch I watch someone play 2003 occasionally, and I don't like a lot of the changes they made, mainly with regards to the voice acting. Like they had they recast all of the voices, and they all kind of sound terrible. Even though they added a bunch of cool new stuff, like new uh, a lot of new players and a lot of new courses. That's a nice hit, Pablo. Is that a home run or is that just a pop fly? Okay, not quite a home run. You can go to second. You're fast, and there's no way she's got a good enough arm. Wait, um, what? Wow, she's got a cannon. Cut between bases. He hits the ground. Darn it! Ooh, that's what are the odds that she has like a rocket as her arm? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And that'll do it in the first inning. Oh well. Nate Kowalski steps up to bat. Yeah, if I can find 2001, like, for cheap on Amazon or eBay or something, I, I, might, inv I might invest in that. I think that's the one that my library used to have that you could rent. That was a fun one. I'm not a huge fan of all the pro players, but that's fine. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, something's actually getting hit to Tony. For the first time. And of course it's a ground rule double, so Tony doesn't do anything anyways. Wow. <laughs> nice go pup butt reference, Marty. Hi there. I'm very laggy. Um I'm pretty sure that's on your end. Because I'm in OBS says I'm in the green. They have a runner on second. Nobody if else. you can play Among Us while watching a stream of Backyard Baseball, then yeah, that's a pretty boring game of Among Us. Clearly, you're not the imposter. Another strike. Oh and two. Yeah, Marty, if you're having a lot of lag, maybe try refreshing. That sometimes helps. Let's wait, was his name Vic Soufflé? Tiffany Bosworth. Whoa, Vic Soufflé. Oh. Tiffany Bosworth, eh? All right, Tiffany, let's see what you got. Let's see what you're made of. That's a ball. That was ball one. The runner goes. Why in the world? Would... Oh, because he knows it's Pablo. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He actually stole third because Pablo sucks at fielding for some reason. You're getting close? Well, it's, no, we're not letting them get home. We are not letting them get home. It took me a second to realize that he was stealing and I had to throw. 
Oh no. A bouncing nope. ball. Nope. He's got it. Oh, and the throw to first. Good. Oh. I was waiting for him to try to go home. I was waiting for him to try to go home. Michiko Adachi steps up to bat. Michiko, that sounds like a Japanese name. She is ready. Cuts to the plate. Correct one. Again, I if they've got someone on third, I'm not taking any risks. Low and inside on every pitch. Low and inside on every freaking pitch. I'm not even going to throw the corkscrew because I feel like there's a good chance they'll hit it and get a power up and get the guy home. You're bunting? When you're that slow? Good. Good job, Dimitri. If you had missed that, that would have been terrible. Alright, team. Good job. Good inning. Way to shut him down. Alright. Keisha, Jorge, and Dimitri. Not, not, not my best, but not my worst. So let's let's make the most of this. been very, very good to me. You had a game of Among Us where you were an imposter and ate dinner and you won. Game. Nice hit, Keisha. Not a home run. Oh, right. Nope. Right past them. Okay. Don't go to second because they have. Yeah. Yeah. They have. An actual bazooka that they're firing the the ball out of. Here comes Jorge Garcia. All right, Jorge. Watch that outfield cringe as I step up to the plate. Okay. Jorge, you haven't been doing super well. I'm gonna try hitting a line drive with you today. Let's see how that goes. Cuts to the plate. That's right. I don't care. That one got by him. Runner on first. Nobody out. Maybe line drive with Jorge would be a good idea. The delivery. I'm still not swinging. High ball one, one and one. Maybe they will walk me. He comes center. The one one pitch. That was a ball. And yeah. the count is two and one. I gotta learn to swing at less. Into the motion, the two one pitch. What I really have to do is pay less attention on the shadow and more attention on actual the actual trajectory of the ball. Into the wind, throws it. Ball three and the count. Full count, no outs, and Keisha Phillips is on first. OBS. Okay, it looked like OBS was going to crash on me for a second there. That was a line drive. Watching kneecaps on those tables. Sly Keisha! Oh, she's out of there. Ooh, that's Why not what do my for. guys never slide? I don't understand. I can't get them to slide. Don't you just keep clicking go forward to make them slide? It never works. I mean, the Bombers are a good team, so... He comes center, throws it. That's winning. Ball one, two out. Okay, never hitting line drive with Jorge again. That was a terrible mistake. Okay, that's a big pop up, up and it's foul, and, and they're gonna catch. Nope, foul. they're not going. Maybe they will. Nope, they actually might catch that. Yep, of course they're gonna catch that. Well, yeah, this is about how my first round against the Bombers went. All right, Todd, Tina, and Cindy. Todd Xavier steps up to bat. This young guy means business. Does he mean business? Well, let's see if he can face off against Lisa Crockett, best pitcher in the league. All right, let's try the slow ball. Nice job, Vinny. You could feel breeze from that one over here. Slow pitch. Bet the batter wasn't expecting that. And the count is 0 and 2. Watch me now. Hey. Here's the windup. Cut to the plate. Swinging. All right. A bouncing ball. Yeah. He's got it. Ooh, fires across the Okay, Kenny, you honestly should probably hold back on those pitches because throwing it too fast is what occasionally makes Dimitri miss them. Target goes up. She delivers. A swing, right one. It was in there like swimwear. Actually, I'm gonna. One out. The coach calls Tactical decision. I am going to swap Lisa with Kenny at this point. Because Kenny's full on juice and Lisa's suffering a little bit. And Lisa's gonna be up at bat next inning. 
I thought that was 100% in the strike zone. Like, I really don't understand what parts of the strike zone are actually in the strike zone or not. Because the shadow was 100% encased inside it, and it was still counted as a ball. Down she goes. Get out. Bye, Harara. <laughs> you are good, Kenny. You also haven't pitched nearly enough. <laughs> Lisa's basically had to pitch every inning of every game without a rest. <laughs> Unless it's like the final inning in which I'm like, all right, let's let Kenny have his moment. And that one disastrous time that I had Tony pitch. Never again. Tony's awful Into the motion. Pitch on the way. The swing. Puff fly. She's under it. And yeah, out. you're not you're not beating up Kenny. Let's no not. Alright, Jacinda, no Lisa, and Tony, my free weak links. Well I say that, but Tony's actually batted in like the fifth most runs in the league. Watch this. Home run. I also think another thing I might have to do is Stop using Google Chrome to keep an eye on chat, because that seems to be giving OBS some problems. Maybe I need to switch over to Firefox or something. Okay, that was actually a nice... That was not foul! If it's not foul after it reaches first base, it's not foul. It was infield after first base, but then later on, then it... I'm not swinging it. Another strike. How is that a strike? It doesn't shake her up with nobody out. I feel like I've I've been seeing. No, no, I don't even care. That was. I'm not swinging at that. Game has screwed up a few things this season. Most of it was funny. That's not good. It's going up the right field line. Literally, best case scenario is they drop it, and it's foul. Yeah. And, she, and Jocinda had to use, like, the two sips of juice that she actually had. She has no speed. He winds, cuts to the plate. That was a ball with nobody out. I hate these fastballs that are, like, right at the precipice of the strike zone because I have to make a snap decision whether or not to swing at them. Jocinda, stop hitting them straight up. Give it more distance. This is why I'm having you hit power. And she pulled a Jocinda. She hit it straight up. They somehow miraculously don't catch it, and she gets on first. But then she doesn't get any farther than that because Lisa kind of sucks. Mad Dog has a powerful swing, but not much accuracy. Here goes nothing. Yeah, I don't know if the game was programmed with all the actual rules of baseball in mind. It is Little League, so... Okay, well, that one literally I couldn't possibly have hit, even though it was in the strike zone. Cause it's Lisa. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A swing. A bounce. Yeah, that's about right. That little blooper sent him running. What is, okay, I'm pretty sure my teammates just don't understand what a line drive is. I know these kids can keep Like literally, I'm outfield. saying hit a line drive, hit it straight into the outfield, and they're like hit a grounder. Okey I can't believe Tony is my last one. Alright, Tony. Jedi app powers activate. Here's the motion. Cut to the plate. The right one. Two out. Tony closed seems to be the way to go for the most part. He comes center. Here's the pitch. A swing. Pop fly. That's not good. Even if he gets on base, he won't stay there. And he's out. Yeah. That's an easy out. That's it for the third well, inning. this no has been an uneventful game so far. so far. Both teams are playing really well out there today. Liz Kinghorn That's honestly pretty true. Both our batting and fielding has been pretty good. All right. Hey, Kenny, you can keep pitching for a little bit, but I don't want you to run too low on juice before you're up at bat. Oh, you're going to try to bunt? <laughs> you're going to try to bunt? Oh, yeah, that's a mistake. Only Pete Wheeler can bunt. bunt. Uh, I guess she is pretty fast, but... Dimitri? Why in the world would she try to go to second? Get out. You were safe on first. Why would you try to go to second? That was terrible. And I feel like the computer player consistently makes that mistake. Have her quin, eh? 
Uh, I think I'll bring Lisa back. Because there's pretty much no way she's... Yeah, she's, she's low on juice still, but she's still not going to be up at bat for a while, so... Whereas Kenny is guaranteed to be up at bat this next inning. Nice job, Lisa! <laughs> Look, it's Jacob Kowalski's uh, descendant. <laughs> like his... Great, his grandson, great grandson, maybe. I don't know what the time. Ever Quinn sounds like a Harry Potter character. Nate Kowalski pretty much is a Harry Potter character. Watch me now. Hey, take the stretch. Here's the pitch. I feel like a name like Hever is too American to be a Harry Potter character. That's a ball. That was ball one, and the count is one and two. Yeah, man. Lisa's juice is running out faster this game compared to other games. It's probably because I'm throwing too many hooks. And they're getting a lot of foul balls. Fine. You win game. I'll put, I'll put Kenny back on. Kenny Kawaguchi up on the mound and ready now. And the Just get him out. Okay, um, Jorge, break your ribs for me, please. Okay, Pete, stop running into the fence. My burn noodles don't work so good. Here's the throw to second. All right. No, I'm not going to try to cheese him by throwing so deferred, because chances are Pablo would drop it, and it would go out of play. Because Pablo in this season is a one at fielding, not a four. From the wind up and the pitch. Alright, Vic Souffle. We struck him out last time. We can this is an easy a out. Ball. Wasn't ready for okay, really Kenny? Let's go. Throws it over to first. Save the first. Really, Kenny? Really? Did he just drop the ball? Pablo, you suck! <laughs> the only reason we got them out is because they were stupid enough to run. Seriously, I think out of all of the times Pablo has gotten near the ball, he's caught it maybe twice and dropped it all 30 other times. He's so bad. At least he's, at least he's the one who keeps getting me home runs. Alright, Pete. Alright, Pete. What am I gonna try grounder again. again? Grounder worked out for us well last time. Cuts to the plate. That's a fault. Slide. Nobody out. That's okay. This is why we have three opportunities. Into the wind up. Here's the pitch. A swing. Strike two. Zero and two. I, maybe I should try getting power with Pete more because he has actually hit two home runs, but the swing. That's up. That's not good. See you next time around, kid. Durr. My noodle don't work. Pete's noodle is not the best today. Alright, Kenny. You don't have Pete to try to save your butt this time. You gotta do this all on your own. Which means we're doing line drive. I mean, I was gonna do line drive anyways, but now you gotta rely on yourself. Not on Pete to get you out of trouble. Again, that was more like a grounder than a line drive. But Kenny's got the speed, so he gets on first. Sweet. This sets up Pablo for a slightly better home run. Pablo Sanchez steps in. Todd ain't such a much. Very true, Marty. He is not such a much. Todd Xavier is just meh. Here's the wind up, the pitch, the swing. Yeah, get that out. Yeah, hit that out of the park. You don't throw a fastball on the right side of the strike zone when Pablo's on the bat. He's going to get a home run. Yeah. Never, ever pitch a fastball to Pablo Sanchez on, on the right side of the strike zone. He's going to get a home run off of it. And you've got to love that Spanish guitar. I, Marty, I, at first I thought you said home run, why? <laughs> And I was about to be like, hey, you're, uh, you're rooting for the All-Stars, not the other way around. Get that out. 
You oh, also don't pitch a fastball to the right side of the strike zone for Keisha one. Phillips. Oh, okay, well, it worked out for them that time because Whoa. Keisha's apparently Man, not as powerful as Pablo. Here comes Jorge Garcia. Jorge Garcia. Which means he usually misses the catch. Watch that outfield cringe as ah, you well. step up to the plate. <laughs> <laughs> if you're rooting for the terrorists, you can get out. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Man, even with power, that's only how far it went. Well, that's an out. You tried, Jorge. That's fine. We got two points that inning. And the fourth inning's over. The All Stars are leaving them in the dust. Up by two. The All Stars are shining bright tonight. There was a team I had. Tiffany, Bob. Vinny, you need more than the two stories that you keep telling us. Left for breakfast. Jorge has high highs and low lows, Marty. The stretch, the pitch. You have to understand. Sometimes he gets out immediately, other times he gets on first, and sometimes he breaks his ribs in order to catch the ball and get the team out. Michiko Adachi steps up to bat. But Jorge will probably not be coming back for next season. <laughs> Jorge Hichosinda, and, um, actually, those, those are the only two who are, like, guaranteed not coming back. Part of me wants to bring Tony back next season just because he's been, like, I don't want to say the most important person on the team, but he's had the most... Hey, people! Okay, good. You were running all over the place. I was a little worried there. <laughs> But, you know, Tony has caused the most memorable moments this season, so a part of me wants to bring him back just for that, even though he kind of sucks. Another thing I could do is, like, have people vote on who, to, who I would have on my team. Nice job, Kenny! You're doing well as the pitcher. Even if you're not getting any strikeouts, you're consistently getting them. Halfway through the inning now, the All-Stars winning up by two. The All-Stars are shooting high tonight. All right, this is probably my last uh, time at bat, which seems weird. I feel like we only just started. All right, Dimitri. I've got it out this pitcher, so I know what throws are coming. I probably shouldn't be hitting power all the time with Dimitri, but I don't care. A pooper in foul territory. There was no way that wasn't going to be a foul. <laughs> hey, Mobius. Ah, uh, it's going well. Here's Just playing some baseball. Swinging. We're Fouled beating the terrorists right now, out. but that could change. All they need is two home runs like the Sox got. Into the window and the delivery. Okay, Dimitri, the idea is to hit it forwards into the field, not backwards into the dugout. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about, Dimitri. That was a beautiful hit. In fact, that's a home run. <laughs> Every so often, Dimitri surprises us. <laughs> Dimitri, it took me a couple tries, but I got the calculation right this time. <laughs> That is the weirdest run. I just realized he's not actually pulling up his pants as he runs. He's just moving his arms up and down in a really weird way. That's for the math nerds in the world. I myself am one of those, so I am happy about that. Oh, guys, this means we get to see Tony again before uh, before we, the inning's over. From the stretch and the offering. Please get on base. But they're gonna catch that. Aw, oh, man. Slomo is really easy to hit. <laughs> That's okay, Jocinda. You tried. All right, Lisa. Give me something I can hit. I don't think that's asking for too much. We want a batter, not a broken leg. The stretch and delivered. Lisa. Ball. And she goes down. Lisa, you have been a huge disappointment at batting. One out. Actually, has she... She's only a two at batting to begin with, so I can't really expect that much from her, especially since she's also pitching the daylights out of every game, so. Oh, the Big Sponge Cake has joined the stream. Hello, Big Sponge Cake. Welcome. That was ball one, one and two. You're just in time for what is probably going to be my last inning at bat. 
He's ready Come on, Lisa. One, two, pitch. Okay, that was a pretty good hit for you. Watch your knees yeah, that actually... Nope, team. nope, she's got a cannon. That's not a single. Yeah, she was robbed. That's okay, Lisa. Next batter, oh, Tony I just skipped Tony's walk-up. Nobody wants to see Tony walk up and pull the lollipop out of his mouth again. We've he seen it enough. And delivered. Nope. That was ball one. So All right, Tony. You're the last at bat. Let's make everyone proud. Thank you for the follow of the big sponge cake. I appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Oh, Tony! Is that another home run? It is indeed. Tony knows how to make... <laughs> Tony knows how to send a game off right. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Yoda powers activate. Man, that's our third home run of the day. That's crazy. Who says Tony can't perform well under pressure? Tony's been proving us wrong. <laughs> oh, Mobius, Tony literally spent 10 games doing nothing. Literally nothing. And then one game he got two home runs in a row. And he's he's at this point now actually like a really good batter. And part of it is I now know to bat with him closed. <laughs> All right, Pete. Well, it's two outs, so again? you might as well try for a home run as well. Into the wind the pitch. The swing, the right one. Oh, that was too low. Two Should not have swung at that. The stretch, pitch on the way. The swing. It's going to left field. Well, dang! If that was in, if that was in field, I think that would have been. Actually, no, it wouldn't have. It was deceiving. Two out. That almost would have been a home run if it wasn't a foul, though. Into the wind -up. and the offering. The swing. That's a solid hit. I don't know if that's out of the park, but actually, I think they're gonna catch that. No, they didn't. And they fumbled it. So Pete got a double. Nice job, Pete Wheeler. All right. Well. We do need that Yo uh, Yoda Tony emote. It's true. And at this point, actually, I need to check to see if I have another emote slot opened up. Because if so, I will 100% be making that. And the pitch. That's a solid hit, Kenny. Oh my gosh, Kenny, that was gorgeous. Into the outfield. And he stumbles. Actually, no. Kenny, they have a rocket. They have a rocket. Oh, I could have gone to second. They got another one. I didn't know they would fumble it twice, but... I like candy. Everybody likes candy. Kenny, That's nice job. And guys, Pablo could get another home run now. Uh, Marty is asking, does Kenny have hair? No, he does not, as far as I can tell. The other team is terrible. I mean, they were doing pretty darn well until this inning. But yeah, they're not doing very well now. And the delivery. The swing, the right one. It's too late. Runner on first, two out. It's not that the other team is... They're making the fumbles in this inning, for sure. It's going up the right field line. That's okay, Pablo. That's okay. Yeah, the other team is doing the set. Other than me, they're doing the best out of the other teams, so... Uh, that was a strike! I call bull on that! I call bull on that! That uh, I pitched a pitch that the shadow was entirely within the strike zone and it counted as a ball. They pitched a pitch that the shadow was entirely outside the strike zone and it was called a strike! <laughs> That's so dumb. Alright, let's see if Lisa's back up to the juice. Alright, she's got her juice back. Nice! Well, the teams are getting worse now that I know actually how to bat properly. We did not get to see the legendary Pablo. He got a home run earlier in the game, though. You know what? Let's make it interesting. Into the motion, Rosen. Ah, uh, yeah. We need a Tony emote, a Phoenix Wright emote, another Arthur emote, and maybe a Lemmy emote? Marty, I don't have nearly that many emote slots. Do you unlock emote slots when people subscribe? And I think I only have, like, two subscriptions. 
I think I do have a new one unlocked, so I feel like out of those, we would need the Tony emote the most. I just don't know. I'm not an artist. I My name is Artie, but I'm not an artist. I might have to get someone to make the emote for me. Another strike. You could feel a breeze from that one over here. Batter's got to have a great eye to smack one now, of those babies. Yeah. Yeah. Twitch, you, uh, once you hit affiliate, you can get two emotes. Actually, I might be able to have three. But you, but you would only get two of them if you do a specific tier subscription. From the stretch and the delivery. You can that's true, Marty. You are you are more of an artist than I am, for sure. Or we could ask Link. Actually, yeah, I could ask one of my older brothers. Because they, at the very least, they both know how to use Photoshop, and I don't. My idea, whenever I have to do things like custom thumbnails, I'm only using Microsoft Paint, or if I really need to do something involving transparency, I use GIMP. And that is game! All right, that was a that was significantly easier than last time we faced them. This is fantastic. These kids really deserve this victory. They played a great game out there. Straight from the official BBO field. This is Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch signing off. Woo! Five to zero. Yeah, last time we fought the bombers, <laughs> fought like we were, we were in a pitched battle. No, last time we played the bombers, we only won one to zero. Five to zero is definitely a big improvement. Oh, yeah. Let's see what the other teams did. Hornets beat the Wombats in a rather overtime game. Sox lost to the Monsters. No surprise there. They kind of suck. Uh, Rockets beat the Giants in a game of overtime. All right. Yeah, we've won 12 games, lost one. Now the Monsters and the Bombers and the Rockets are all tied for second best. They've all won seven and lost six. Those poor Sox have only won three games. You might say they bombed. Yes, that is... I like that, Mobius. That is very, very good. <laughs> Marty says Microsoft Paint honestly is good enough. For the simple things that I need to do, Microsoft Paint is indeed enough. It, it can't do transparency, though, so when I need to do things with transparent backgrounds, I use GIMP, which has a very steep learning curve, but at least it works. All right, let's go into the standings. Pablo has most home runs. Title Felix Grant. Oh, we gotta fix that. Keisha Phillips has three home runs. Wow. Well, she and Tony are tied at this point for free. Uh, Pete Wheeler's hit. Dane, Pete Wheeler and Kenny have both batted in the most hits. Pablo and Dimitri for her behind. No doubles. Kenny still only two triples. Pablo's batted in the most runs. Tony's batted in the fifth most runs. Pete Wheeler's gotten home the most times. Pete has the best batting, batting average. Followed by Kenny. Jocinda? <laughs> Jocinda, I feel like, has sucked. <laughs> I guess she always miraculously gets on first base, and that's all that really matters. <laughs> Pablo has the second highest slugging percent. Felix Grant with a 1.0. Yeah, right. Pete Weaver's gotten three steals. Lisa Crockett's gotten 66 strikeouts. <laughs> Lisa Crockett with 0.6. Pablo with four. Pablo has had way more than four errors. He drops the ball four times in every game. That's ridiculous. He's like, oh no, it hit my feet! <laughs> oh man. Well, that was a fun, that was a fun game. <laughs> Wish you could see the rest of the schedule rather than just uh, my own. Uh, you mean regarding which teams are playing which teams other than just which teams I'm playing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mater is the bomb. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, that was a good win. Five to zero. That is definitely solid, especially when you look at uh, my uh, past attempts. Five to zero is pretty good. I mean, it's not 16 to two, but maybe we'll get that on Wednesday when we play the Sox again. <laughs> Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be playing the Sox again. It will be hilarious if we can get that many points again, because um, the Sox are not a very good team. They are pretty bad fielders. <laughs> they made tons of fielding errors. And then after that, we enter the playoffs, and that will be interesting, because I think, I at the very least, know that in the other backyard baseball games, the later ones, the playoffs had their own special field. Then again, with how this season's gone, maybe we'll just be playing at the Parks Department field number five, uh, two again. Two or four, I don't even remember. It's the boring field. Anyhow, look forward to that next time. 
Artie's All-Stars will rise again one last time <laughs> to make sure that the socks get washed. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys tune in for Wednesday's stream. That'll be a ton of fun. Hope you have a great rest of your evening, and God bless.